Yo, 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 what's up and what's good, baby? As uh, you guys can see in live HD, Charles with the most Paul can too, back with another Trash Chronicles video. I really started these things off um, during the heart of the quarantine, driving around my neighborhood and finding all this stuff that people just throw out uh, superfluously in my neighborhood because I live in a decently wealthy neighborhood where people seem to have no care for for earth or recycling whatsoever. True. So I'm just driving around seeing if I can find anything of use and value to scoop up or re-donate. So yeah, man, without further ado, join me at driving um, pedo speeds through a neighborhood in a white van and digging in people's trash. It's the Trash Chronicles, guys. Let's freaking get it. Oh, guys, look at this, man. Absolute blessings. All right, <laughs> so first and foremost, we got a couple buckets right here, which a lot of people might look at and be like, this is absolutely useless garbage. Wait, hold on, they threw away some Nikes too. Tripping. These people legit just threw away some Nikes. Oh I might God. check those out, but I needed some empty buckets for a couple of reasons, which I guess I'll show y'all at the house. But more importantly, I need these buckets right now because this person threw out a bunch of plants and it's Paul plant two season and these beautiful Thai plants right here can easily be grown from a cutting which is basically this area all they need is water and each one of these runs for about 20 bucks and they look super cool are bright red so yeah dude I'm gonna regrow all of these dudes so um yeah one man's trash is literally paul plantu's treasure so this is a pretty good find just to kick off the morning oh yeah dad all right now let's check these nikes out this is so weird there's like beer cans in here these are pretty gross ew but i think i can finesse them Dude, there are four pairs of Nikes in here. Four pairs of Nikes in the trash. I'm gonna at least donate these, bro. That's crazy that people just throw shoes away when people legit cannot even afford them. That's wild, but yeah. There they are, they got four pairs of these. Minus one, that's free quick mess. Or two pairs, four shoes, math. All right guys, so there it is, dude. First hot steaming pile of garbage. We have two pairs of Nikes that someone just threw out and then a bunch of plants as well. Um, very wasteful. This is America, this is how people are rocking, but whatever, dude. I'm just gonna re-donate these and someone will get some new Nikes, new to them used Nikes. Let's get it. Okay guys, so I stopped back by the residence real quick to drop off these Thai plants in this water and they will um, pop out some roots very quickly ideally so I'm just putting them in here and the reason why I got the other buckets is because I use them as water catchment when it rains really hard because water tends to build up back here so that's why I need as many of these plastic buckets as I can get for like emergency water catchment scenarios and uh, yeah, I'm gonna empty these out. It looks kinda ugly back here, but it is what it is. We got some real shit, bruh. So all the plants are in here, and what's really cool is that the size these guys are at, they're actually worth $20 a pop, so they're five plants, so that's $100 in free 99 Paul Plant 2 value found in the trash. So hopefully they do spring up some roots and don't just die. That would definitely um, not be good, but also that's life and they was free. Now I also saw a huge finesse scenario just waiting to happen, like a golden goose of finessing in terms of a house that got torn down. So I wanna go check that out and see if I can't grab a bunch of free material all up on that residence. We'll see if I get arrested, but hey, it's for you too. All right, this is what I was referring to when I said the ultimate finesse. Bro, they tore down a house, straight up free slide. No, but there are all these like bricks and pieces of masonry, which I think I can use. 
Bruh, I just feel like my neighborhood is high key full of Karen, so someone will probably trip out on me, but I don't really give a rat's ass. Um, <laughs> so I think I am gonna grab a bunch of these bricks or at least make piles, but it definitely is worth a try. A bunch of free bricks. I can use them in the garden, in the backyard, in the front yard, in whatever yard. These go hard and they're free. Like, bruh, someone trips on me, I'm about to have to give them a tongue lashing in more ways than one because, dog. No one's gonna use this shit. Let's, let's be real. And all right guys, so we're back with the first load and there are so many bricks, it is crazy. I just don't get why someone throw away a whole house. Like, why would you throw away a whole house? No, but seriously, dude, look at the back of my van. This thing is sitting low, like straight up. It almost is scraping. That's why I was like, all right, let me just go ahead and bring these back. I'm gonna start a giant pile right here on the side of my house. Yeah, dude, I've been trying to find a solution to line the garden beds I recently have created. And I found all these stones in the back of my property. And if I were to buy a pallet of these, it'd probably run me a few hundred dollars. Um, and so along this bed in front of my house, I think I'm gonna use the bricks or I might just save them for the backyard. But either way, you can't argue with free 99. I definitely am gonna utilize the hell out of these. They might be in the front for now until I feel like dropping thousands of dollars on rocks, which I venture to say I might never do. But yeah, dude, free brick alert. Let's put them down. So after about three trips of going to the knockdown house, I wise it up to the fact that it's a lot easier to pull my van up to where I'm gonna actually lay the bricks down and unload them over there. So on the side of my lot, I cleared off some mulch to create a nice smooth surface so that way the brick wall that I was creating would not be hella crooked. Now I wanted the wall to be two bricks thick, that way it was sturdy, it would look clean, and in my neighborhood when people just have a one thick brick wall, it looks really dumb. So that was not the vibe I was going with. So I snaked around the beds that I created. And overall, I was really pleased with the way the brick wall turned out. Now this was an all day trip, going back and forth to the house, accumulating bricks and snaking them around the property. All right, good God guys. It is the next day, man. I am tired. My camera died, I'm sore all over. But I mean, if you guys just look, we rocked out yesterday. <laughs> Uh, we got a lot of bricks done and laid down. This is about two loads worth of bricks. We'll just take a walk. We'll just take a little stroll. They have a nice kind of white patina that actually does match kind of the white trim of the house. So it does add a really good dynamic right there. And then the little pine straw mulch matches the shingles. So you really have a nice, uh, a nice vibe going on over here. But yeah, I made these beds super wavy just because everything in nature tends to work in organic form and not straight line, so it just makes more sense. But today, I think I am gonna go back to the crushed knockdown house and grab a couple more loads of bricks. I actually think I have enough, but I don't know when they're gonna scoop everything up, so I just wanna get as many bricks as I can. But for now, let's just keep unloading the van right atop this line of bricks and build that beautiful, bodacious wall for my fortress. <laughs> All right, let's get it. On day two, I realized, man, why not put the brightest, whitest side to really add some vibrance to the bricks to any onlooker who's driving by or walking by the house. So I just kept laying them things down until I was completely done with the first layer and then it was time to build the wall up with one more stack of bricks on top. So I continued throughout the day and that second stack of bricks made a world of a difference and really had the yard looking 
beautiful if I say so myself. Now what also is cool is the bricks literally had my name in them. So shout out my uncle in Mexico who had this brick company. Bruh, the legacy lives on. Anyways, I did this until the sun went down yet again, but it felt really good to know that I completed the entire wall in two days. Alrighty guys, so it is the next day and I am officially done with this whole pathway in front of the residence or pathway, this brick wall in front of the gardening beds. And I was out here till like 9 p.m. last night, put on a headlamp, finished the job just because I'm the type that when I start something, I wanna get it done as quickly as possible, especially when these materials probably would've got thrown away. But yeah, bruh, The Trash Chronicles, Paw Plant 2, the ultimate collab. You guys already know what time it is. I guess we can do like a before and after shot. I wish it was sunny right now so you guys could see the bricks in all their glory but overall it looks way better being divided by some stone than anything else and the front of the house looks absolutely amazing so let's just get some shots right now you guys drink it up soak it in and literally see how I turn some trash into treasure But there it is guys, if y'all enjoyed this yard transformation, please like, comment, and subscribe. Again, this is just me going beast mode and showing y'all what I do on a daily basis to redo, reuse, recycle, and overall upgrade my space with other people's waste. Anyways, uh, yeah, please smash the like button for real. It helps me out exponentially, especially when I spent like two days doing this. But until next time, live the dream, eat that ice cream. I'm locked, I'm loaded, and I'm out. Peace. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life, I roost And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to.